Good day everyone! Welcome to Milo Sports Clinic Online. My name is Coach Jeng Marnilego from the Volleyball Clinic and I will be your coach for today's training. So guys, I am asking for your parents to be present during this course for their supervision, okay? So, we wanted to do this training uh, just to make sure that even if we are staying at home or indoors, our, our kids can still be active, fit, and healthy. So, in this, uh, in this training, we're gonna do some warm-up, um, some drills, conditioning, and proper cool-down after the training. So, let's start! Guys, you should ready your water and your towel. So, just in case mauhaw tayo or pagpawisan tayo, may, meron na tayo agad magagamit tsaka may ino. Okay, so guys, madali lang muna tayo. Ang training natin is from easy to complex. Okay, so first, magwa-warm up muna tayo. So we're, we're going to do a jumping jacks for 20 seconds. Continuous yun for 20 seconds. And then, we can rest for 10 seconds. Let's do that for about 1 minute. Okay? So guys, jumping jacks now. If you're doing it, you can rest it for 10 seconds and then all in all you can do it. You can do that for one minute. That is our warm-up. So now so now guys, let's proceed to our dynamics. So in dynamics, ganun pa rin, in place lang tayo, uh, arm rotation lang tayo. Una, forward and then backward. Okay? So like this guys. So do it for at least 10 seconds. Just count 10 seconds. 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, then do it backwards. 1, 2, 3. Nine and 10. Okay, so guys, next natin is the hip rotation. So, we should start for uh, rotating right and then left. Okay, so ganun pa rin, 10 seconds pa rin. Okay, guys. So next natin is forward lunges. So paano ba yung forward lunges? You're just going to stand up, straight, and then one big step. Okay. As you can see, yung aking uh, right knee naka bent siya. And then yung aking left leg naka straight siya. So uh, let me show you the side, this side, para makita niyo naman dito. So one big step. So your knee should be aligned to your hips, okay? And then straight your body. Do it for about 10 seconds. Okay, then the other leg. Okay, last one. Remember guys, do, do this alternately, okay? Okay, so next natin is side to side. So ganun pa rin siya, lunges pa rin siya, pero this time, side to side naman siya. So paano yung side to side? We should start with our left leg. Okay. Your toe should be pointing up. Okay. And then, the left. Okay, good. So guys, ayun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, kaya dapat prepare tayo kasi talagang pagpapawisan tayo dito sa training na to. So that's why I'm telling you to have your towel and your water. So anyway, why are we doing this? The dynamics is so important because it stretches our body and syempre it prevents us from having cramps and injuries during the drill or the RR training. 
So napaka-importante talaga na makapag right ah, makapag warm up tayo ng maayos. I mean in the right way at saka in the right position kasi kapag hindi mo siya nagawa ng tama, useless din siya. So dapat uh, detailed ka sa mga ginagawa mong warm up. Okay guys, so now tapos na tayo sa warm up. So now I'm gonna teach you the receiving stance. Syempre guys, sa volleyball, it is important for us to have a good receive. So paano mo magagawa 'yon? Dapat makaka-establish ka kaagad ng position mo before you receive the ball. So paano ba yung receiving stance? So, stand straight. Your inner sole of your shoes should be aligned to your shoulders. Okay? So hindi ka masyado nakabuka ka. So, inner sole of your shoes should be aligned to your shoulders. And then, next jump is one foot forward. Either right or left. Okay? So, guys, pakita ko sa inyo na yung inside view. Pag nag one foot forward kayo, kailangan yung heel ng uh, pinut forward nyo naka-align sa toe. Okay? So, kapag sa left naman yung pinut forward ko, yung heel ko naka-align din sa toe ng right. Okay? Nakuha. So again, one foot forward, and then bend your knees. It is it is important for us to bend our knees all the time. Kasi kapag nag-receive ka nung nakatayo, mali na yan. So you don't have the control ng bola. So dapat lagi kang nakabend your knees. Okay? So next jump is, your arms should be east in front. And then your palm facing front of them. So ganyan siya. Slightly lean forward. So ayan, nakaready ka na mag-receive yan. So, Before tumating yung bola, we are going to stretch our arms, left and right. So, stretch natin siya, naka-straight. Like that. And then, so, tuturo ko din sa inyo kung paano yung hands interlock. So, paano ba yun? It should be right over left or left over right. Okay, so ako, I prefer right over left. Ayan. Then, hands interlock kailangan yung thumbs nyo it should be aligned together okay? para facing front so para makontrol nyo talaga yung bola it should be hitting your forearm right here okay? so ayan, so ganun yung receiving stance and always keep your eye on the ball syempre kasi wala namang bolang uh, pupunta sa galing sa direction pababa so dapat lagi lang kayong nakatingin sa harap okay? so again, receiving stance One foot forward, bend your knees, ready, and then receive. Okay? Receive. Okay, so I'll do it this way. Okay, this side. Okay guys, so I hope you get that all kasi important talaga yung receiving natin sa volleyball and the receiving style is very important so kailangan matutunan nyo siya ng maayos and well, de uh, well, well uh, detailed masyado kasi kapag meron dyan na hindi ka nagawa na ng maayos, pwede ka na magkamali so guys, that's the receiving style, I hope you get that okay, let's do our first drill so ano ba yung first drill natin this is called ball on top of the forearms. So, first, we need a ball. So, a volleyball. Okay? So, ang first drill natin is we're going to balance the ball in our forearms while doing the ball squats. So, paano ba yung ball squats? Like this. Then, squats na tayo. about a minute. Okay? Stand up. Then, so, kung nakuha nyo na yun, do that for about one minute. Uh, next naman natin is front lunges. So, ganun siya. Kanina, di ba, nag-lunge tayo ng, ano, nag tayo ng warm-up natin. So, ngayon, gagawin natin, gagawin natin siya with the ball or with the ball. Okay? So, lunges tayo. Put the ball in top of your forearms pa rin. Then, stand straight and then one big step. Lunges. Okay. Then, 
Yes. Side to side lunches naman. Syempre, meron pa ring bola. So, on top of your forehand, bola, you should balance it. And then side to side. Okay. So if you get that right, punta naman tayo sa ball under your elbows. So ganun pa rin siya. Ball squats lang muna tayo. But this time, yung ball, nasa ilalim siya ng elbows natin. So, your arm should, should be straight pa rin. Okay? So let's do that. Like this. Or in the side view. Okay? One foot forward and then bend your knees. Let's do this for about a minute pa rin. Okay? Okay. So, kung tapos na kayo dun, uh, front lunges naman ulit. So, ganun pa rin. Ball under your elbows. So, pag tapos yun na yun ulit gawin lahat, ngayon pupunta na tayo sa ball control. So, ito progression na tayo. Medyo advanced na to kasi we're going to control the ball while hitting in our forearms. So, paano ba yun? One, uh, uh, one, ar one arm lang muna yung gagami gagamitin natin. Uh, right first. Then, you should do this for 45 seconds continuously. Actually guys, okay lang naman magkamali kayo. Kung for example, nalaglag yung bola, it's okay. You can do it again. Okay? So, do this for 45 seconds. Remember guys, before doing this, your, your knees should be bended. Okay? You should bend your knees while doing this. Kasi kapag nakatayo lang kayo, mali na yun. So, okay? So, bend your knees. And then, do it your, first at your right arm. So, one. this. Okay? So, do that for 45 seconds. So, okay lang naman magkamali kung nag-vlog. Ulitin nyo ulit. Okay. So, you should do that for 45 seconds. Pag after nun, left hand naman tayo or left arm. Okay? So, you should bend your knees pa rin. Ah. Okay, you should try it and try and try again, okay? Medyo mahirap sa left arm, pero sige lang. Magagawa din natin na, like this. Okay, you should do that for 45 seconds. So anyway, syempre kapag nagawa na natin siya ng right arm and right uh, left arm, we should do this on alternate trend. So syempre, mas mad feeling ko mas madali ito kasi... Uh, salitan siya. Okay? So, do that for 45 seconds pa rin. Bend your knees. Ayan, guys. So, yeah. Feeling ko mas madali yun kasi mas nakakagalaw ka ng maayos kasi wala kang iniintindi kung anong arm yung panghihit mo. So, it should be alternate. Again. So, yun guys, nakuha nyo na. So, there you have it guys, our forearm 
top of the ball forearm. So, let me remind, let me remind you guys na kapag medyo napapagod na tayo or nauuhaw, syempre kailangan natin magpunas ng pawis and syempre, we stay di uh, hydrated. So, dapat lagi tayo ininom ng water. Lalo na ngayon, mainit talaga kasi we're all in a quarantine because of the COVID-19. So, syempre, we stay safe pa rin tsaka stay fit and healthy. Okay, so, that is our ball control. So, guys, tong ball control, this is one of the most important skills in volleyball. Kasi kapag meron kang ball control, maayos mo nang magagawa yung lahat ng gusto mong gawin na movements. Like, sa receive, you can pass on your teammates na maayos. So, importante talaga yung ball control. Okay guys, so tapos na tayo sa drill natin. So right now, we're going to do the conditioning. So ano ba yung conditioning? We have two. We got uh, sit-ups and push-ups. So, bakit ba natin ito kailangan gawin? Guys, kailangan natin itong gawin to strengthen our core, our arms, our biceps, and our legs, and of course, our whole body. So, it's like a complete workout. So, uh, guys, do this uh, sit-ups and push-ups for whole five minutes. So, Wag na kayo mag-rest kasi syempre, di ba, uh, mabilis lang naman din matapos yung 5 minutes. So, dire-diretso lang nat natin siyang gawin. Do the push-ups and uh, sit-ups for the whole 5 minutes. Okay? So, I'm gonna teach you first the sit-ups. Okay. So, feet together. And then, your heels closer to your buttocks. Ayan, like this. Tapos, your hands or your arms, lagay nyo lang sa side ng head nyo o kaya sa side ng chest nyo, pwede rin. And then, just pull. Like this. Okay, so guys, make sure na hindi tataas yung dalawang paa natin while doing the sit-ups. Okay? So now guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the push-ups naman. So pag push-ups, nakahiga naman tayo like this. So, both of your hands, aside on your chest, at the side of your chest, and then make sure na nakatingin kayo sa harap. Okay, then. Okay, so guys, make sure na pag nag-push-ups kayo, diretso yung katawan nyo. Okay guys, so some of you can't do the regular push-ups. So, siguro kasi mabilis mapagod o kaya uh, mahina pa yung arms nyo. So now, I'm gonna show you an easier way to do a push-ups. Uh, this is actually advisable for girls or for small kids, okay? So, what you're going to do is just lie down like this and then hands on the side of your chest pa rin. and then bend your legs cross your legs like this and then just do the push up like this okay so this is much so much more easier than the regular push ups okay so okay so do that guys in full 5 minutes okay So, okay guys, so after the 5 minute sit-ups and push-ups, now we are on the last part of our training. So, we're going to do now the cool-down. So, ano ba yung cool-down? Guys, this is very important kasi this is the way to relax our body. So, para eventually after ng training, hindi tayo magkaroon ng mga muscle pain or back backache or body ache. So, important talaga to guys to do the cool-down every after training. Okay, so let's start. So guys, mag-start muna tayo sa arm and hand shake. So, shake nyo lang yung arms nyo at hands nyo in front. Like this. Tapos sa side. Ayan. Just count siguro mga 1 to 10. Okay. So after that, next naman natin, syempre, yung legs naman natin. So leg shake tayo. Like this.
Okay. So, next natin dyan is arm stretch. So, cross sitting position tayo. Arm stretch tayo. So, your right arm across your chest. And then, yung left arm natin, push lang natin towards our body. So, ayan. Palm facing up. Ayan. So, you have to do this the right way. Okay? So, laging makinig kay coach kung paano siya gawin. Okay? 8, 9, 10. Siyempre, kung meron sa right, meron din sa left. Make sure na yung arm nyo, or yung arms nyo, this one, your, my left arm, is level siya ng shoulders nyo. Okay? Okay. So, next natin dyan is tricep stretch. So, tricep stretch, your right arm. Uh, touch your middle, uh, middle back part of your body. And then, yung left arm nyo, hold nyo lang yung right arm nyo. Okay. Make sure na yung likod nyo is naka-straight. Okay? So, next. Okay. So, next natin is toe reach tayo. So, legs apart. Okay. First natin, uh, touch natin yung toe natin sa right. Hands up. Touch natin yung toe. Do it for 10 seconds then. And then another sa, sa left. Okay. Then, legs together. Reach for your toe. Touch your toes. Ah, there you go. So, next natin is back stretch. So, yung left leg natin, straight lang. Yung right leg natin, bend backwards. And then, stretch nyo lang kayo. Tingin kayo sa taas, stretch nyo yung back nyo. Yan, okay? Then, next natin, other side. Just count 1 to 10, then it's okay. Okay, so next natin is calf stretch. So, yung foot nyo, like this, i-slant nyo lang ng ganito. Then, pupuan nyo yung heels nyo. Then, hands up. And then, reach as far as you can. Okay. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So there you have it, guys. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. That is our cool down. So guys, napaka-importante ng cool down every after training para hindi man nakit yung katawan natin. Okay? So do that the right way. So there you have it, guys. Tapos na tayo mag-training. Thank you so much for participating in our volleyball training today. And guys, I want to thank uh, also our parents, our beloved parents for uh, the support and for joining this program and of course for their supervision so anyway guys uh, one more thing um, if you're going to do this training do it in a very spacious place like in your front or backyard or in your garage or in your garden kasi diba we might damage things or destroy things if we're gonna do it inside our house so syempre ayaw naman natin makasira ng gamit sa loob ng bahay diba so anyway um, I would like to thank also Milo for being our official sponsor of this uh, sports clinic online and of course Best Center for making this happen. Thank you, thank you so much guys. And uh, guys, don't forget uh, to like their Facebook page. Uh, just search Best Center Sports Inc. and for more sports updates. So, ayun, like nyo lang yun sa Facebook. So guys, so ayun, nakakapagod man. So, sana I hope may natutunan kayo at saka do this in your own place. Thank you so much for watching. This has been your coach, Cheng Marnilego. And uh, saying stay safe, stay fit, stay healthy, and be safe at home. Thank you. Bye!